Hello and welcome to my channel Joanne Seal where I show you how to make and create beautiful things and today we will be making these watercolour pencil bookmarks. So first of all, you'll need to get two sheets of A4 paper. I'm using watercolour paper, but you can use any paper to start off with. You may find that if the paper's thin, if it's printer paper, then it, the pages might start curling a bit. So I've divided each sheet into four sections using a ruler, and now I'm cutting them out with scissors. Now I'm taking some watercolour pencils and you can find these quite easily or buy them online but I would encourage you to go to your local art store and if you colour each of the slices in different shades I do use mixed pencils I like lots of different colours in my work so I mix the shades but overall it's sort of like a bluey mauve colour with this one and the next one is going to be green and I'm using lots of different shades of green here which I really like and if you just wet a brush and then swipe it over the, pa the pencil it activates it and it becomes a painting it goes from being a drawing to a painting and it's amazing to watch and really nice and fun to do too so one of the sheets was cut into slices and I've got four slices and I'm making them all different colours but I'll probably only use three of these and I'll choose the best colours to go with the bookmarks and the fishes, we're drawing little fishes um, to go on top of them so that's all of them done now in various shades all a bit of like sea coloured now with the next sheet, which I didn't cut, but I did mark, I did divide them with a pencil, I'm drawing little fishes. So you can draw them any way you like. Um, you can use a reference photo, but make them quite simple, like a children's illustration or a cartoon and make them any way that you, you, you like. This one is actually, it's not a fish, I'm calling it a sea cucumber <laughs> or a sea gherkin or something like that. I just like the shape and I like it. It's quite, quite cute actually. Eventually it will look cute <laughs> and I'm drawing lots of little spots and details that I'll colour in in different colours. And remember to add a nice big eye and a smiling mouth. I think the eye is quite important. I think the bigger the eye, the more cute that they look. So try to make a nice big eye. And this is my little whale-like one. It's quite difficult to draw these swirly tail ends. So you might want to practice a little. So yeah, this is the last one. And then we'll be drawing some flowers because the bookmarks have a little fishy on and then a little flower that sticks out at the end. So you can use that to draw it in and out of the pages quite easily. It's like a little handle, but in the shape of a flower. So I'm just going over the tail fin again because it's quite a difficult shape to get right the first time. And make sure you little, put a little fin on them as well. So now I'm drawing the flowers. Sorry that this is off camera slightly off camera I was zoomed in a little too much but just draw any little flower shape and make sure you draw three of them that fill the last section of the page now we're going to color them in and this is the fun exciting part so you can use different shades on your um, on your fishes you can make them multicolored um, I would stick to colors that are similar I'm just going over the lines, the pencil lines with pen now. Just because when you add water to pencil, it can the graphite might um, wash away a bit. 
So the pen I'm using is a permanent pen. It's a pigment pen. I think it's called a, a Pigma Micron. So make sure any pen you use isn't water soluble because when you add water, it will just wash away the pen. So any kind of permanent marker. So now I'm taking some colors and I'm making the first little fishy like a goldfish. So it's going to be red and yellow and orange. I'm just going around the outside in red. And don't worry if you go over the edges, it's actually better if you go over the edges because we will be cutting these out. So all of those bits are over the edges, they won't show. So yeah, it's nice and yellow in the middle. And using the paintbrush dipped in water, just activating the watercolour pencils and isn't that gorgeous it's such a delightful way to paint as well it's so simple it's like you just scribble something down and then suddenly you have a painting that looks like it's taken ages to make so my sea cucumber is being um, yellowish in the middle and then darker greens around the outside so this one's multicolored as well and i really like that i love using different colors of different shades of the same color and sometimes completely different colors together so there's a lot of variation it makes it really interesting and vibrant so just act activating that one now it's so cute <laughs> i really enjoyed making these so the next one's going to be mauve and red so I'm making the fins more red as well as the center and then the outside is going to be mauve or purple or lilac. It's always difficult to tell which color purple is called which, whether it's mauve, lilac, violet. I'm sure there's some guides somewhere. So just adding the water now, activating the red bits first of all and then the purple bits. So it all blends together really well. Going over the lines slightly and now I'm doing the flowers and I've started the flowers with red or orange actually in the center a little bit of red and then uh, a very warm yellow around that and then I finished it off with a, a, a lime and more of a, a sulfur yellow a greenish yellow just to have a variation in my yellows as well so I'm activating the red now and then now I'm going around the outside and adding water to the yellows. And doesn't that look lovely? <laughs> I loved making this. I'm going to make some more because it was so enjoyable working like this, making the tutorial and playing with the colors in this way. So now I'm going over my strips, which are like the backing cards for the fishes. And I'm, and also with the fishes, I'm intensifying the color. So I'm adding more color. Once it's fully dry, you can add some more color and deepen the color, make it more rich and vibrant. So use exactly the same colors that you used before. So I'm just filling in the little spots on the sea cucumber in different colors. So it adds um, some contrast, and yes, the colour is so nice and rich now. So gorgeous. <laughs> now I'm using my dip pen. Uh, you don't have to use a dip pen, this is one that I have had for ages and I hardly ever use it. And I've got some India ink, which I'm going to use to just go around the one of the fishes and fill in the fish's eyes on all of them, and also go around the flowers. I find that using a dip pen can make it look a bit more, I would say, a bit more artsy and a bit more interesting. It just adds a different sort of a flavour to the to the work, so it's not so so cartoony in a way. It adds, it makes it more interesting. But I'm only using it on one of the fishes because I think the pen's quite thick. I am, however, using it on all the eyes. If you don't have India ink or a dip pen, you can use any black. You could even use a watercolor black. So now these are all finished and ready to cut out. So I'm just cutting them into strips first of all to make it easier and then using a smaller pair of scissors to just go around the outsides.
So now I've decided to round off the corners of the slices. And I'm, you can't see me do this because unfortunately some of it's off camera, but I'm just using a pair of scissors first of all, just to make them rounder and they look, they look cuter when they're round. And a little bit more elegant too. But I've also got this corner tool, which rounds off the edges too, the corners rather. I just bought this from a local craft shop. And you just click it down and it's like a hole punch, but a rounder. Doesn't that look nice? So they're all done now and we're ready to glue the fishes on. I'm using a craft glue, a white craft glue that dries clear. It's called Art Glitter Glue and so far at the moment that seems to be one of the better ones. You can use any glue you, you like. I would recommend using a PVA type glue which is like a white craft glue that dries clear. So I'm just dabbing quite a bit on <laughs> because this paper, I'm using watercolour paper and it's quite thick so it needs a little bit more glue just to hold it. And so I'm pressing it down and letting it wait, waiting a little until it holds and then doing the next one. So make sure that the fishes are uh, more towards one end because we need to put the flowers on at the other end. So there needs to be a little bit of space. So as you can see, I've left a bit of a gap on the left hand side. So now I'm going to add the flowers and these will be add, these will be glued half on the bookmark and half off. So there's a little piece of the flower peeping out at the top. So it's like a little handle. So I just put glue on half of the flower and press that down. Just finding the right way round. And now I'm using some white, a white paint pen, just to mark the white of the eyes. If you don't have a paint pen, you can use any white, um, any white at all. If you don't have white, you can even leave it. It doesn't need to be white. It just looks more realistic if it's white. So now I think these are finished. Oh no, I'm adding glitter. I had to add glitter. I found these little, I think I got these as a present on Christmas. <laughs> They're just little bottles of, of glitter glue in various colors. And I thought they would look amazing on my bookmarks. And one of them is Stickles, which I haven't used for so long. I think this bottle is probably five years old and it's absolutely, oh, I love glitter. So yeah, just adding some glitter to the, um, to the fins. I'm trying to match the color of the glitter with the um, color of the fish as well. So this one's a bit more reddish, a bit pinky. And I left these to dry on a radiator, so they dried quite quickly. So I think they're all dry in the next shot. And yeah, congratulations. Yeah, they're all dry and shiny <laughs> and cute. So now you can use them as your bookmark. And I think they look great. I got this book. I went to the Horniman Museum in London and the author was giving a talk. And it's a book all about strange animals in the world. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching.